Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be super fun because we're doing a farmhouse Halloween decor challenge. I cannot wait to jump right into it, but we're also going to be doing a collaboration. So it's going to be lots of DIY inspiration and fun in today's video. If you are new, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and let's do it. So what I have in mind for today's DIY, we are supposed to be doing a farmhouse DIY for Halloween. I'm going to paint it black and I'm going to put some vinyl on the sign that I have so I'm going to try to cover this up and see how good it looks but then we're going to stick it on there and I don't know we're going to do a couple other things to make sure it looks good but it's going to be lots of DIY inspiration so be sure to stick around until the end and let's do it. So let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to be painting this sign black. I wanted to say I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm doing great. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing. Then we're going to cut this pumpkin off of here and wrap it in some of the vinyl. Just cut the vinyl to where it fits the pumpkin good. If you guys are new, I'm Kate and this is So Kate. I do videos with lots of cleaning, organizing, and decluttering motivation. And also lots of cooking, DIY, and baking inspiration. If any of those things interest you, I hope that you will go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and become part of the SoCate family. Cannot wait to get to know you guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to put some of this ribbon or burlap or whatever it is on the back of it. I found these little foam things that I had got at the Dollar Tree a while back. If you use these, vinyl does not stick to them. I just want to let you guys know, but I just glued the vinyl on. I'm actually using everything that I've already had in this DIY. I didn't go and buy anything else. So I guess I'm just using some of my craft stash. I was lucky I had all this left. also had these two pumpkins that I'm gonna get ready to roll up with the vinyl. I just do the same thing as I did with everything else except I went and got a stick out of the yard and just stuck it in there. But once I had the stick and everything in there, I decided to glue some of the Spanish moss on there. I thought it gave it a beautiful touch. Like I said, we're going to be doing a farmhouse Halloween decor challenge. And there is a bunch of hosts that I wanted to thank. First is Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Also Crafty Cove, Mama Can Make It, and the Rest at Willow. And of course I wanted to thank the Spotlight Crafter, Dee Dee's Art Workshop. All these women are so talented and inspirational. So once you are done here, you have to go and check them out. Be sure to tell them I sent you. And also there is a bunch of women joining us in this collab, which are also so talented and inspirational. I will have the host and the other women linked in the playlist. So be sure to go and check them out. So here it is guys. I think it looks amazing. So happy with it. I just put these skull lights there so that it would look a little bit more scary. You guys saw how I used the vinyl. This is kind of like a graveyard. And you see I just put the two skeletons right there. I think they look so cute. I made them hold hands. 
but I love it. Let me know what you guys think. I just put some leaves and cotton in the pumpkins wagon, but I'm going to show you with the light off. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got lots of DIY inspiration. No, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got lots of DIY inspiration. Be sure to let me know which DIYs you like best. I'm so glad you stuck around till the end. I hope you have an awesome day. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to. So leave me a big thumbs up and hit that bell so you know next time I upload. See you guys later. Bye. But I'm going to leave some videos up here for you guys to check out. Lots of DIY inspiration and lots of cleaning motivation. Also, don't forget to follow and subscribe to all the hosts and all the other crafters that are a part of this collaboration. Mm -hmm.